Uh, so we're here at uh, Divine Infant Church in Chicago, and uh, it's a very, very live space, and what we're doing is demoing the difference between a point source speaker, which is a good sounding point source speaker, but we're in a reverberant space. So then we're going to show you that versus the AC6. It's a two-talk column of AC6 um, and show you the directivity and how the, the sonics of the room change. So you're listening right now to me on a direct microphone to the recording, but we're going to switch to a, a stereo microphone at my same position here, two-thirds of the way back in the room, and we'll take a little listen to it. Um, and I have a good friend, Bill, who's going to talk about RT60 for us. So this will be Bill talking about RT60 through the point source RSX89 first. Reverberation is the persistence of sound in a particular space after the original sound is removed. A reverberation, or reverb, is created when a sound is produced in an enclosed space, causing a large number of... And now I'll switch to the AC6. This is most noticeable when the sound source stops, but the reflections continue, decreasing in amplitude until they no longer can be heard. The length of this sound decay, or reverberation time, receives special consideration in the architectural design of all. Civic reverberation times to achieve optimum performance for their intended activity. To a distant echo that is 50 to 100 milliseconds after the initial sound, Reverberation is many thousands of echoes that arrive in very quick succession. It's between echoes. As time passes, the volume of the many echoes is reduced until the echoes cannot be heard at all. There you go. To learn more about how AC6 can help you take control of your sound or to schedule a demo in your space, reach out to your local rep. To find your local rep, Go to EAW.com and select Find My Rep.